Uh, we ready with the camera? Uh, you yep, cross it. Thank you. Would you all please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Are you okay? All right. Uh, I don't think there's anything to add to the agenda. Is, is there? No. <laughs> Uh, oh, right, we have to go to the session. Yes? It's on the agenda? Yes, no, I just, I just saw it. I don't think you need a consent agenda. No, we're going to have, we're, we should talk about that outside. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'll move that we approve the agenda. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, public comment. Mr. Cohen. Hey, how you doing? Uh, let, let me just, I before, just you, wanted, before I, we get started, John, sure. um, we're going to try to limit public comment just in the interest of brevity. Try to keep your comments to two, three minutes. That's if you fine. Is that, okay. I, okay, thanks. I just wanted to uh, say Happy New Year to everybody. Happy it's 5,775. That's our year. Yeah. Um, and I wish everybody a good, sweet year. It's the holiday is Rosh Hashanah. I don't know if people understand what the holiday really means. Not only is it the new year, but it's a celebration uh, of, the, of the creation of Adam and Eve. A lot of people don't know that, and we celebrate that year after year after year after year. So, um, so anyway, Happy New Year, and I wish all good things. One thing I would like to say within my three minutes, um, my heartfelt feelings to the, to the workers that work at the town hall that have been working under the atmosphere of black mold. And um, I just, I just, you know, we were, we were once talking about consolidation. I'm not pushing it. I'm just saying it might be some, maybe a good time since they need a new home. And um, we have a lot of issues with our water infrastructure. And, um, and so maybe it's the right time for the village and the town to sort of uh, like hand in glove, merge and work together. I think divided we fall, united we stand a little stronger. So with that, I just wish the year and, uh, and, and I just wish our village board could just be a nice village board that could just do nice things and good positive things for the village and not do any type of legislation that would be divisive. And that's all that I wish for the new year and thank you all for being here and, happy and listening to me. Thank, thank you very much, Sarah. Happy New Year. And Jason. Other public, <coughs> other public comment? All right, hearing none. We'll move on to the two items we have to discuss. Um, the first is a discussion on the extension of time request for New York City DEP. Um, I think that's probably one of our folks. Yes. Um, Tom, do you want to give us the? That's okay. Yes. Uh, the Cliff Notes version here. Um, all the board members uh, received uh, two memos from uh, Dave Klaus. Uh, the uh, second version of those memos were broken into, was, uh, I shouldn't say broken, was uh, divided into four paragraphs uh, requesting an extension of time and uh, also an extension of budget to support already approved activities and then uh, additional activities to um, establish the uh, viability of uh, those options that are <coughs> presented or will be presented in the report. None of these uh, requests uh, will uh, in any way deter the, uh, the submission of the final report by September 30th. So we still expect a report, although there are activities that uh, relate, on the one hand, to the resolution of some issues that remain with some residents uh, in the Plains Road area. Then the sampling of the Wallkill River each month for the remaining months of this year, because we, uh, uh, we uh, assured DO, I should say DOH, people don't know, Department of Health that we would sample the wall kill every month 
uh, in anticipation of a decision to be made concerning its uh, viability as a source of uh, drinking water and that uh, we would, in the third instance, continue the uh, assessment of the various options from an engineering point of view to determine the design uh, aspects of the uh, various options and any other cost factors. That's the Cliff Notes version. Lovely. <laughs> I so, think I, I hope, uh, I'm going to ask, if you don't mind, please, uh, to be sure that I have gotten at least the substance of it correct. That's good. I mean, that's fine. We just want to be able to keep supporting the yeah. project as it goes. You have the dollar amount. <coughs> we have uh, actually, we, if you look at the second version of uh, the memo that Dave sent, you will see a dollar amount attached to each of the activities. <clears throat> However, that dollar amount does not include contingencies for insurance and uh, legal fees that may be uh, connected with claims against the village. And our engineer is in no position to provide us with those, uh, those amounts. We have got about our two lawyers. We have gotten estimates uh, from our treasurer, uh, which I think she would even say are you know guesses in the absence of uh, concrete knowledge about mm -hmm. how many claims and how long they would go on. She's estimating a certain amount of money that would uh, be billed against the village because the village in each claim will have a deductible that it has to cover uh, with the insurance company. So how much that actually is, I think, should be put in a separate request to uh, to I'm the going to move the $50,000 of the current balance in hand be held in escrow for the purposes of the deductible. I don't know that. Uh, um, I don't know that there are fifty thousand dollars that are unaccounted. I know that there. Uh, I know that with the last payment that was made, there were still fifty thousand dollars. If I may, uh, please help us. In, in terms of David and I were just talking, just to be clear, I don't think any funds that are set aside would be held in escrow per se. They well, be in a separate line item or a right. dedicated fund for use when, when the need arrives. Okay. Is it I will change escrow to dedicated fund. Thank you, Will. <laughs> Is it appropriate, Will, for us to, I mean, for us to, or can we even encumber money that was currently, that's currently in budget, or is this something we have to ask for the, ask for in the new appropriations? The, the, the problem we have is that, is that in our in the original contract with PEP, we had we had dollar amounts dedicated for different purposes, um, and and our, our contract with PEP is to spend the money for those purposes. So yeah. There's nothing no, in. Excuse me, Sal. Can I address that? I I had a, a conversation with uh, DEP within the last uh, week, uh, in which. Um, it was suggested. They know that we're in a position to make uh, re requests of them that uh, they will not have been prepared for before. So, but it was suggested that we make a request just for the extension of time, yes. the easy one, so that we say that we're requesting an extension of time from September 30th to December 31st to, and I'm, I wrote down some language here, uh, of the current contract to complete already approved actions that will require this time after submission of the project report on September 30th, 2014. <clears throat> so that's a request one, excuse me. <clears throat> Just for the extension of time. Um, and then that uh, we also request support for <clears throat> What I believe is in uh, one of the paragraphs of Dave's, uh, paragraph four of Dave's memo, 
uh, the work to assess the viability of the uh, projects that are recommended in the report. Uh, and I, I don't have the exact amount, but it's in Dave's memo, and it might be $14,000. It is. It is. Mm -hmm. And then thirdly, that we request a supplemental budget. And right. the supplemental budget is to support uh, any other activities right. that are required. Including uh, the insurance. Including the insurance. But that, that's so what motion do we need to make? Well, we have, we, a three part, we have a three part request. We can make each of them separately or we can make them together. I would, I would take whatever advice we get from council. I, I will agree with that, but Dave, we, Dave Mersey, we had a contingency line in that contract. Yeah. And that's what I'm suggesting we hold aside for the purposes of I, I, don't know, I don't know what the amount of contingency line was. I thought it was more than necessary. <clears throat> Do you remember, Nick? I, I don't remember. If, if it is, Dave, do you remember? I believe it was 20000 and I that's, know some of that's been spent on oh, okay. the access All right, so that does not, whatever. I all right, we're going to have to do it the way you suggested. So, I withdraw the motion. Okay, Let's, let me ask um, the, the, the lawyers. Uh, uh, what's the simplest way for us to, what, what's the simplest way for us to move forward here? Uh, I, don't, I don't think there's any harm in making one communication with DEP, you know, with three prongs in it, the extension and the other two issues, and this way we're putting them on notice now rather than waiting, just giving them a complete picture of what we, we're currently looking at, including the extension, the, the claims that have been asserted, and other things that the village is gonna need to do to administer the project. So I don't have a problem. Okay. Yeah, my, my concern my concern is that they want it three ways so they can approve one and, and disapprove the other. Um, and and that, that may be ultimately to our benefit uh, because we want to have, because we definitely want the extension through December 31st. Uh, we, because we need, we need to do the ongoing work to, to determine the alternatives. We obviously also want the 14, at least the $14,000 additional that we have, so that, that, that's, that we have, that they've prepared psychologically for, and then there's a third request for the, the legal defense costs, uh, which which is going to be, and whether we do that in, in one motion with three pieces or three pieces uh, yeah. separately, I don't know, it makes a lot of difference, but I think they should all be done before we leave here tonight. Yeah. So, Tom, do you, you have language for one of them now. Do you want to take a whack at one motion with three parts? Um, yes, I'm not sure how, what the header should be. So uh, the header uh, may simply be uh, that the village of New Pulse requests of New York City Department of Environmental Protection an extension of three months of the current contract to complete already approved actions. Uh, and then this sounds a little redundant, but I didn't know how else to do it. That will require time after the submission of the project report on September 30th, 2014. Okay, so that's that's that one would be one, part A. Part A. What's part B? Part B. The village of New Falls requests support to assess the viability of the options presented in the project report, as detailed in paragraph four of Dave Klaus's September 23rd memo. If we can append that whole uh, paragraph, will that be okay? Or do we need to say uh, in the amount of $14,000? Either way would be appropriate. Can we say? No choice, yeah. okay. So append it. Uh, All right, so that's part yeah. B. Well, wait, wait, wait. Uh, and I, I want to make sure that we know exactly which memo, because he did send these two memos. So I'm saying his memo titled Summary of Supplemental Budget Modification Request. Okay. We, we believe it should be appended just so they get a completely clear picture mm -hmm. from the project professional. Perfect. And so we say C, appended memo. Right. And so that's part B. And then and request then three, C. Village of New Pulse requests a supplemental budget of? What's left in, out of the 20? I have $98,000 left in the entire 840000 That's what's left in the budget right now. And we've paid up to August 15th. Mm -hmm. Nancy, you, you, you give us a figure of about 50000 I would say 50000 Okay. Oh, yeah. So I think that's our figure. 
Absolutely. So uh, a request, the supplemental budget of $50,000 to support activities uh, uh, relating to legal and insurance uh, or projected, I have to say projected, yeah, right? right? Projected legal and insurance costs. So I heard, okay. I heard somebody say 50,000 should be the minimum. Should we do more? The problem is we don't, it, we, we, we have, we, we're, it's pure guesswork at this point. We know what our deductible is for each claim. Right, right. Uh, which, which is gonna go out the door uh, automatically. Uh, so, and, and if a carrier then comes in defense the claims and there's gonna no further Claims against the, the bills, and that'll be it. If there are other claims, other other actions, other things that, that arise, uh, you, we just we just don't know. Right. One of the one of the issues we're dealing with is, is with our with our insurance carriers. Uh, mm -hmm. We have we picked up a new one and ended an old one. So so the, it occurred during the new contract, but the issues that their the claims are made occurred with the old one. Right. So right. so we're, they're playing table tennis. Uh, with us, and uh, and again, it appears that they're coming in and covering us uh, in accordance with our contract, but we have an obligation to cooperate with them, uh, and so that's that's exactly what we're doing. But I think it's appropriate to notify New York City that we are going to have these additional costs that are directly related to this right, right, uh, this course. project, and but we want to be we want to be rational in our request, and not ask for too little, not ask for too much. But right now, the fifty thousand is a is is a good is a good guess as to what's going to happen. If it goes, if it goes beyond that, well, then we're going to be able to show, we're going to be able to show actual costs uh, and documented costs as opposed to theoretical stuff. But we want to make sure that we're on, we're on the record to make sure that the, that the first, that the first shot, uh, which may be also the last shot, who knows, uh, is covered. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. Then so, Katie, I'll give you all of these, of course, and say at least. And it may say at this time. Yeah. Hmm? Well, at would, this time. I would say at, at this, this time. time. Okay. The, the problem will be if you, you, no, you, you can't make a request that. that says at least have to request the. We need to say at this time. Okay. So it, we'll have to carry it in at this time. This is fine. All right. I second it. I heard it. Is there any other discussion on this? I Yes. Do we need to request, and I, only you are going to be able to answer this, Dave. Are there issues that need to be dealt with by the residents that you need to deal with that are not in the budget? Yes. We have, uh, there was 20 residences that had additional care that was being provided. We've been kind of methodically addressing those with well disinfections and resampling. There are 12 of those now that are off. There's still eight that are on. We're waiting for resampling and some other issues to so be able to do deal with those. So do we need to add a fourth part to this, and that is funding for the remediation of wells? Resolving the well issues, yes. right. How much? That's a hard one. I have a... I, Put together in that uh, budget request modification a request for an allowance <coughs> to not only take care of those that are still ongoing that we expect to be resolved soon but also to be able to support the board as they go through the reports and start to get into seeker issues and so that. I guess well, my question well, is, is there enough? I'm not, I, I don't know, I'm not prepared to say yes, but I am prepared to say that there was some money still in the budget that had not been right. uh, either spent or accounted for, and those monies are already in there to cover already approved activities. These are the approved activities that we requested funds for in the first extension. That wasn't quite my question, but... This is support. As we, after the report is submitted on Tuesday, hallelujah, <laughs> it'll be done. Um, after that, the board is going to be meeting and going through the report and asking quite a few questions, and we want to be able to support that. So that's the part that is... Uh, and we have that money in the in 
the request already? Is That's the question. what I'm trying to find out. I know, I'm, I'm just restating the question, yeah. your question. No. Do we need to ask for we do. more money to, to cover Some those additional money, and I, you know, it's really difficult to know how many meetings there will be, how much Russell will be. 10, involved. 15? <laughs> I was looking for an allowance that the DEP would provide the pot, and then only, you know, whatever time it took. It's going to be more than 10 or 15, I believe, just to be able to address the remaining homes. And Would it be appropriate day to ask for a fourth category, an allowance of $50,000, which will be refunded if not needed, for additional remediation that may be required? I have another idea. Hmm? I have another idea. Okay. okay. Um, in request two, uh, we are asking for support to assess the viability of the options presented in the report as detailed in paragraph four of Dave Klaus's memo. Uh, but uh, in the prior, well, no, I mean, it, if we're asking for support to uh, funds to support the viability of the project, is that not s still what you are now talking about? Meeting with the board, having the hydrogeologist also meet with the board. So instead of saying 14,000, let's include the other sum that you had included in your third paragraph in with the 14,000. So we're not making four requests, but we're folding into uh, the notion or the uh, the activities to assess the viability of the options, this ongoing interaction with the uh, engineer and the hydrogeologist. The fourth paragraph was to be able to do refine the engineering as we got closer to right. the examples. This other is the support to be able to whatever you need to be able to understand the report and come to a decision. And that's a really tough figure to figure. What about, a, well, give us a range. More than $10, less than a million? More than $10 and less than a million. Than than a million. Can you narrow it down any? <laughs> I'd say 50. Yeah. That's what I thought. 5-0? Five 5-0. Oh? Yeah. Five oh? Zero, zero, zero. <laughs> <laughs> so can, can we then ask for uh, a, a, a total of $64,000 to cover the two? phases of the assessment of the viability of the actions. One will be the engineering aspects uh, such as the continuing sampling of the wall kill and so forth and the other will be the necessary support to the board uh, in its assessment of yep. those uh, so how, how would you like to amend your motion? Uh, I would like to say that instead of um, uh, the simpler uh, formula that uh, we have a two-part formula that says we are Village of New Paltz uh, requests support to assess the viability of the options presented in the project report as detailed in paragraph 4 of Dave Klaus's September 23rd memo titled such and such and such and such uh, and an additional uh, $50,000 uh, to uh, support ongoing um, um, advisement and consulting with the uh, principal engineer and hydrogeologist uh, Cloud Chazen and Company. Uh, Sally, you seconded. Is that right with you? Are we put in there for study and review as well? For study and review. I'm but right. I would like to make it seventy-five thousand dollars, and. That it will, if we don't use it, it will be refunded because there are remediation issues that have to be dealt with. And, and so, and I agree because I'd rather I'd rather do it that way than have to make some other additional yep. request. Discussion point. I I, I I will second my amendment to the motion. <laughs> Tom, Tom has to agree that it's. It, you agree to that? No, I, I I'm I'm concerned. I, I I want us to have as much clarity as we can when we're making a recommendation, because we're now, we're now also making a request for real money from DEP. 
and I don't want us to appear that we're making a frivolous uh, request. I want us to be grounded <laughs> as much as possible in the reality of our project. But Tom, I think if, if the number that was quoted just now is 64, 75 is not, I don't think that that would appear frivolous. If we said 100, maybe it would, but I think if the real number It's a real number. Is there 64. are real issues that have to be dealt with Additional that lessons. have not been anticipated yeah. in the funding. And I think we are safer with asking for the 75000 to be refunded if we don't use it. And we're protected. Mm -hmm. Do you Listen, agree to my amendment? I don't know. What, what do you... Uh, it's the support that the village would have. It's kind of an on-call. You use us when you need us on trying to work through this report and make a decision on where you're going with it as far as the project. So, so it's up to it us. Really is, yeah, it really is more of an allowance. You think it's unreasonable, what I suggested? No, I don't. Okay. What do I want to turn to the I mean, some of you guys have worked with DDP. You know, uh, this is my first crack at it. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I know your hair's already turned white. Okay. Yeah, well, it's gotten a lot whiter, actually, here in this year. <laughs> it's always a balancing act. On the one hand, no matter what you say, they're going to say that's way too much. Uh, on, the other, on the other hand, uh, we also have to be realistic in what we ask for. Yeah. Uh, because, again, if we, if we say, well, we only want 10, and then we need 15, and then we want 25, uh, then it becomes, you know, the, the, the mouse and cheese yeah. thing is always, is always getting more and more. So, so the, 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 I don't know that the amount is paramount. I think the, I think the rationalization and the explanation, and that, again, we're not picking a number out of the air. Right. Um, and I, and that, that if, if you do have, an, my experience, they will be more inclined to say, submit the bills and then we'll analyze them and see whether they're sufficient and whether they're justified as opposed to giving us a, a, a pot from which to from which to deduct based on our own opinion as to whether the whether the expenses are appropriate or not. Uh, how to how to best how to best uh, present that in a uh, uh, I mean again it's they would always like to have something that's subject to review of DEP. Right. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Well, that can be put in but Dave, yeah. I think it we, is we, expenses reasonably expended. Yeah, uh, I think it is correct to there. say yeah. that when DEP and we got involved in this, that some of the things that were discovered were not anticipated, and I think, in light of that, we can say. We're doing you a favor, and we didn't anticipate, nor did some of the people who need help. It's not like DEP has, had, has never heard of budget overruns before. Right. Um, trust me. So I would suggest that we just qualify it by saying that there are unanticipated remediations that are needed, and if they're not needed, the money will be refunded. All right, how do we frame that in a... Uh... Just the way it is. Okay, great. <laughs> well, I don't know... So do that. you accept that? Uh, I wasn't going to, but uh, I will. Okay. <laughs> is there a... Hold on, I think we're... I want to make sure that they're not going to say something about this motion before we vote. Is there any other problem with the motion, Dave and Will? I think they're figuring that out. Yeah. Well, how should it be phrased? Is that what, what are you talk? What are you talking about over there? Tell us. <laughs> well, <laughs> or we can go to executive session if you need. Yes, yeah, to discuss it with council. Yeah. The, the we just we, we want to make sure we're, we're again it's the balancing act. We want to make sure that we're that we're asking for enough, but that it's not a honeypot. That they're that they're concerned that what we're doing is is is. That's my Give, given that that this is essentially arbitrary, no matter what number we put out. Um, because we don't have a, a hard and fast well, budget. Yeah, one of the things that, that is well, uh, let me just finish the question. Is it really a material difference between fifty and seventy-five in terms of what we're asking for? I mean, I know it's twenty-five thousand dollars difference, but are they both reasonable number? Sure. The the, the the number is not the most important thing. Right. As I'm saying, the, the the issue the issue is documentable and reasonable expenses 
for the, the that are moving toward the completion of the project. That's so that's, how, that's the hard number. Mm. And again, they they're going to want to have something in there that says that it's subject to reasonable review by DEP. So how would you phrase that part of the motion in whole? I mean, I, I would put a dollar amount on it. Absolutely. I would put you know, <laughs> put the dollar amount on it, and in the motion, authorize when the letter is written to them that the village understands that it's subject to review of, of all the documented expenses. You know, to that effect. So they you know they know we're not just asking for some excessive amount and we're going to put it in a fund someplace and never tell them about it. So they need to be okay. assured by the village that it's going to be appropriate expenses and actual expenses. Mm -hmm. So we know from actual numbers. So we have, con I'm assuming, based on the responses, we have consensus on the three, A, B, and C that Tom read. Um, Tom or Will or Dave or somebody, uh, if you could just restate from the beginning what this new addition to those three points would say. Well, so we can have it. The first point was okay. The first point was just the extension. The extension, yes. That one's fine. We're talking about, and, and I think C was fine. That was the litigation slash insurance yes. discussion. Yes. Right. That one was fine. Yeah. Yeah. So we're, we're so really B, talking about B. Tom, mm -hmm. you want to just, you don't have to read the whole thing, but just kind of insert the new phrase. What I. So we can, One, ha yeah, second. please go. Um, the first iteration of B made reference to Dave's September 23rd memo, which yes. had a $14,000 figure. In, in paragraph four, but he had a larger figure in paragraph three. What was the figure in paragraph three that was stated? 64. No. What was it? I thought that's what we just came up with. Okay. No, it's just the numbers we had it together, yeah. 15 and 14. Right, there was 56, 57,000, that was the community relations piece. Mm -hmm. There was another support to the board, which was 36. So that's 90,000. Right. That again is looking for a number, and the village is the one that governs how it's spent. Subject. My remediation question fits into that figure? Yes. Okay. So we're. That's in that done. first part. And so, so is that in paragraph three or paragraph uh, two and three? Those or? two were in one and two there. One and two. <laughs> so we're appending it as appended in the memo, paragraph one and two. One and three. One and two. That was, again, it's really a moving target at this point on what it's going to take. That's, I'm sure, a high side of it. We see that really is. So then we're going to be requesting. We saw that We need to see it. Then. So Tom, you made the motion, and Sally was trying to. I'm floundering. I can see. It. I can see. We're I all floundering. I thought I had it down. We're all From my point of view. <laughs> so we, we were well. We had consensus at 50, and yeah. then 75 was mentioned, and and that got people. Um, and then 90 was mentioned. Oh, right, and then it was. <coughs> right. I guess. How do you feel about that? Okay. My point is this, Nathan. I don't know what the magic number is. You're going to have to recommend a magic number, which you have. I want to make sure that there is additional funds in there, and we took care of the litigation part, but that there is additional money in there for any remediation that you and Russell believe is necessary to be done to resolve problems for people. So how much money do I need to do all that? I believe the 75 will do it. There's money in there for the wellness infection, the subcontractors and all that, okay. that maybe, but I think 75 is as good as 90. I mean, I was really 
looking for something. I worked with Russell on this, came up with a number, and tried to make sure there was All enough. Right, so it's 75 times. Does anyone object to the 75? Wait, 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 wait. May I ask? Uh, may I ask if someone will make a motion uh, for the board to go into executive session to confer with council and engineer for a minute? All in favor? Aye. 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 This will be brief. Good. We'll be right back. So I'll be Nancy and Yeah. 
by the sidewalk.
Yes. Uh, the uh, parts one and three uh, stand as uh, amended uh, before, that is part three as amended by uh, Trustee Rhodes. Uh, part two is request two. The Village of Millpools requests support to assess the viability of options presented in the project report as detailed in the revised memorandum of Dave Clauser to be provided to the board on September 29th. Uh, the memo titled Summary of Supplemental Budget Modification Request in the amount of $75,000. All right, and that's acceptable to you, Sally? I, it's perfectly acceptable. All right, is there any more discussion? Nope. All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Would you prefer this be done by resolution? Okay. Um, all right, the second item on the agenda is a request from uh, DBW Superintendent Terwilliger to add uh, the purchase of a one-ton dump truck to the fall borrowing. Um, was there, I'll, I'll move that for discussion. Uh, any discussion? Nope. All in favor? Aye. Aye. And I will move to authorize by resolution the treasurer be charged with adding this borrowing to the borrowing for the fire truck. I'll second that. All in yes. favor? Aye. 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 All right. And now? Technically, because it's a resolution, it should be a roll call. Yep. So, but just quickly, West? Yes. Rotzler? Yes. Rhodes? Yes. Basco? Yes. Rocco? Yes. Rainbow. All right. <laughs> and I'm going to move this back into executive session. Uh, that's the last, right? We. Yes, we do need executive session. Um, is there a second? Second. Oh, I'm sorry, to discuss potential litigation. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, folks, this is the last thing we're going to be doing on the agenda, so you're welcome to stay if you'd like. We're, there will be no motions. Right, we're not voting on anything when we come out uh, after this. So, Regarding. for your information. Are you All right. Are you going to add anything? Huh? Are you going to add anything? No. No, we've got to consult with our lawyers. And that's, yeah, yeah. 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 If, if, if yes. the agenda was already do, do you have to say this day? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, not Clouser. Uh, not Clouser. Well, I think for the public session, ask one of the lawyers if that's a good session. Yeah, it's a really, yeah, no, I understand the question. But no. <laughs> In executive session, David. I'd, I'd appreciate it if it's 